Hello. Today I wanted to go over extending connect, one of the features of Jabber. So just do a quick review to show you guys what Jabber is. Jabber is Cisco's unified communications client. Um, so off the bat, it's got instant messaging and everything built in. You can double click a name, you can call them. Um, in the instant messaging window, I can go ahead and I can place a call. And typically what would happen is the call would either go through your computer um, if you're using the soft phone feature here, use my computer for calls, or if you do CTI control, um, you actually can set it for one of your desk phones that's sitting next to you, and Jabber will traditionally control that phone, and when you push the call button here, your phone goes automatically off hook, and that call is placed. Uh, some of the other things in here, I can do a share screen, I can start WebEx meetings directly from it. Um, I can have my recent call history here. There's also a visual voicemail. It ties into Outlook, so I have all my meetings. Um, we can tie into video servers as well, so I can go right into a live video meeting and send out a conference bridge for that. Um, and you can even do custom tabs, so if you want to track something at FedEx or you want to search something on Google, all that's available for you. So the Extended Connect feature, um, let's go into that a little bit now here so you guys can see what that is. And again, like I was talking about before, traditionally you could either use my computer for calls or use the, the desk phone that's sitting next to you. But what happens if, let's say, you have a large deployment of another phone system? Let's say it's an Avaya, maybe a Shortel, uh, maybe a Siemens phone system out there. You know, you may not want to replace all your desk phones all at once, or maybe this is going to be a phase migration. Let's say you're going to be doing 20% of the company up front, but you still like all the features of Jabber, and you want to be able to control that Avaya desk phone. So to show you guys how to do that, let me just show you a couple of phones that I have here. Um, I have a Samsung, and I have an iPhone. The Samsung is going to represent my desk phone. So this could be an Avaya. It's obviously third party. It's not a Cisco phone. And we're going to be calling this iPhone over here. Um, this is the phone that we're going to be just placing calls into. So to show you guys what this looks like if this was just a regular Avaya number calling a, a random extension, I'll show you guys what that caller ID looks like before we pipe it through Jabber. So I'm going to go ahead here and we're going to place a call into that phone. Okay. So it's going to begin to start ringing. And you should start to see the call ID pop up on the iPhone there. And you can see here that the caller ID ends in 8408 because that's coming directly from my cell phone and it's going directly to the other, to the iPhone that's over there. So now let's take a look at how we can use Jabber to actually control my phone here. So I'm going to click on use other number for calls and I'm going to enter in a new number here. And this is the extended connect feature. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that and now it sets to the phone. So what this is realistically going to be doing is Jabber and Communication Manager is going to first place a call to my desk phone, in this case my Samsung phone here. I'm going to pick up and as soon as Communication Manager senses that I pick up it is going to conference in and start to ring the other phone here, the other party that I am trying to call. So again I can call directly from here if I wanted to. I could click on someone's name and I can, can hit call or I can even place a call from the top here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this call out. And the first thing you guys will see is communication manager is going to call my cell phone here. So I'm going to pick it up. As soon as I pick up, it starts to ring the iPhone. So I'll give it a second just to ring out to the iPhone here. And now you can see here the caller ID has changed to 3093 because we're using Communication Manager to control this desk phone. So that's Extending Connect uh, in a nutshell. So just to reiterate where we typically see this feature being used, uh, most commonly it's with existing legacy phone systems and, and all those people want to use the, the features that Jabber has and integrate it into Unified Communications. 
Um, another very popular place where we see Extended Connect being used is at-home workers. You may send somebody home and you know maybe they have enough bandwidth at their house to get Jabber up and running and to do a couple things with VPN in, but it's very difficult for them to place a voice over IP call through their computer because they just don't have enough bandwidth for it. So with the Extended Connect feature, I can actually program in here where they use other numbers, I can program in their house phone. So again, what happens is I click to call somebody or I type in a number here at the top and it rings my house phone. I pick up on my house phone and communication manager conferences in that other person. And the nice thing about that is the caller ID always stays with whatever is programmed inside a communication manager so no one ever sees your house phone, no one ever sees your cell phone. And then if we were to do this in reverse, so if let's say the iPhone called uh, my my work phone, we're also ringing out to your that other phone that you had programmed in here. So it would ring your Avaya phone even though the iPhone here called my work extension. Um, so that's it. That's for that's the extending connect features. Thanks.